be mentioned here. Oh, tell me one historian, one, one historian who mentions Mecca. One, one, one. Have you got one? Just like how you made the argument about your New Testament, why you don't have as many fragments. Because you made the claim that it was a pirate. Right. We, we but that's a hundred years, right? But you're talking about the thousands part. of years. Huh? You're saying that over thousands of years, not a single person wrote about Mecca. All this done is make statements. Do you want We've to given you historians, academic studies, do you evidence from your own Quran. What have you got? From here to here? Yes, what's the logic here? What's the logic here? Where's Mecca? How far is that? Where's Mecca? How far is that? Where's Mecca? You have not even yet established any evidence of Mecca's existence from before the time of Islam. One of the best. No. No evidence. Oh wait, he said, right, this is why I'm going to show how one Muslim contradicts another Muslim. Wait, 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 me, I need to know the exact wait, date. Which invasion are you talking about? I can't remember, but they, they came, they came from, they came from a port city. They either came from a port city or they came from north, I can't remember which one. Well, they would have to come north of Mecca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, no, no, no. But you just admit you don't know which invasion no, we're talking about. but there's about. two, there's two. Because there was one where they actually, they actually went to one of the port cities and tried to go inland, but they were defeated again. Yeah, you're right. So clearly you don't know what you're talking same about. With the, same with the Ethiopians. Well, no, clearly, clearly you don't know what you're talking about. Allow me to correct you because you don't know what you're talking about. No, you, you didn't give any evidence. The Romans invaded the Arabian Peninsula in the first century and they invaded from the north and they got all the way to what we call, I think, is it Yemen or Oman now. I forget, I forget, I forget which way around it is. You don't know what you're talking about. Bro, you don't know what you're talking about. And I'm telling you they did. And I'm telling you they did because you don't know what you're talking about. No, you don't know what you're talking about. You honestly do not it know was, what you're talking about. In general. I you watched the video. honestly don't know what you're talking about. You honestly it. don't know what you're talking about. But we were they invaded. What was is connected to the Mecca thing? So they invaded and they went down the whole of the sort of um, southwestern coast of Arabia, which is where Mecca should be. They took stronghold. They got all the way down to Yemen. They decided not to stay there because it looked logistically impossible to maintain a presence, which is why the invasion was short-lived. But in their invasion, in their, in, in their invasion, Ethiopians had a colony much later. Again, you don't know what you're talking about. We're talking about throw out as much, as many distractions and red herrings, but you've got the data to control what I'm saying. Why, why are you trying to listen to what I'm trying to say? So listen, so the Romans invaded and conquered the strip that Mecca sits in. They never found or recorded a great city called Mecca. Do you know why? Even if I cross it wasn't there. If I, even if I grant you that, even if I grant you that, to get to Mecca on that coast would be a very, very difficult journey. Mecca, remember, from the coast, Mecca is about a hundred miles in. Right? And it is a very hostile area. The elements would kill off entire armies if they didn't know what they were doing. No. You should know this. Come on. Bro, bro, you know how hard you're, it is you're, you're clutching at straws. I'm not. Oh, the army that invaded, invaded I'm from you, 100 Egypt, miles. 100 miles the Romans have had centuries of experience dealing with Africa. Not in the Arabian deserts. No, the Arabian and Middle East desert. and deserts. Syria, different. Palestine, Jordan. They had presences in all of these places. Northern Arabia as well. Central Arabia is one of the hottest places on Earth. So why don't the Romans know about Mecca? Tell me, why don't the Romans know about Mecca? I, I, I don't know that to be true. Well, I'm telling you, they've got no record of Mecca. I'm not going to believe you, Bob, am I? Yeah, even when they do. There are other, there are other records. I can't remember them. I can't remember them now. There are other. So, in other words, they don't exist until you can bring some forward that we can look at. We have to assume they don't exist. We have no evidence for Moses splitting the sea. Well, I don't believe in that now because you can't. Yeah, that. that was a localized thing that happened that? at a certain time. You're talking about. You're talking about a city that's existed for thousands of years. Moses split the Red Sea. Yeah, split the Red Sea and killed the Pharaoh. Was there no record? Was there a settlement in Mecca from the time of Adam? Uh, there's a different opinion about that amongst the Islamic okay. scholars. Some say it was Ibrahim, some say it was Adam. From the Islamic fictions, how old is Mecca? Christian fictions. How old is, how old is Mecca according to Islamic fiction? Uh, from Islamic, Islamic thoughts, it is 
It, it depends. It's a difference of opinion. Okay. So, so, say, so, so, so give me the difference of opinion. Yeah. So some say it's established as male. So Bronze Age. Yeah. Again. Bronze Age. Yeah. Could be Bronze Age. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to tell exactly. I don't know exactly when Ibrahim was. You know, Ibrahim was there. Yeah. But so that's before. That's before Alexander the Great. So it's before the Roman Empire. Yeah. Yeah. Make any determinations about that right now. Um. And there's another opinion that says that it was it was Adam. He built the Kaaba, and then obviously. So so right back to the very beginning of human civilization. Yeah. So our options are, according to Islamic fiction, that we go right back to the beginning of human civilization and say that there's been a settlement at Mecca since the first humans, or we go back to the Bronze Age before the Romans, before Alexander the Great, and yet no one records anything about Mecca existing until until we get into the seventh century, eighth century. We can see that there was clearly no massive that took place in the Gospel of Matthew. A hundred thousand, a hundred thousand babies, a hundred thousand babies, where, 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 where does the Bible say a hundred thousand? Huh? Where does the Bible say a hundred thousand? It was every single baby above a certain age. Yeah. It would be where thousands. Where does it say a hundred thousand? It would be thousands. So the number was completely made up. Every single like baby. everything else this man is saying, he's literally yeah. making it's things up. So we have an Wait, how many people, one second, how many people lived in, Beth in, in Bethlehem and the surrounding regions at that time? Could have been thousands, Bob. Could have been thousands. Am I wrong? Yeah. Am I wrong? You, you'd be lucky, bro. You'd be lucky, you'd be lucky. if it, you'd be lucky I mean, if it was over 2,000. <laughs> you'd be lucky if it was Come over 2,000. Come on, Bob. There was, there was, there was Bethlehem was tiny, bro. There was probably 2,000 people that Paul was right. talking about. Tiny, tiny. Huh? Bethlehem was tiny Paul, back Paul, then. Paul literally says that 2,000 people, 2,000 disciples, maybe even a thousand. Paul, Paul says, Paul yeah, says, Paul, where, where Paul, Paul, how, many, how many disciples did you say were there at the end of the time of, of, of Jesus? He says a thousand. So, so shall we know if he does? Let's do it, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't think he does. Yeah, yeah it does, it does. Uh, thousands. There's not 12, there's not 12, there's, there's a thousand. thousand. There's a thousand. I don't know, somewhere in, in Paul's writing. 1 Corinthians 15. Oh, okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So, because the thing is, this bro is just making stuff up. Literally making stuff up. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Mecca was definitely a real place. Yes. Evidence for it. So, what? 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 Yeah. So, what is? Tell, let, let, let's just ask him a more pertinent question. Well, let's ask a more pertinent question. Do we? What? What is the earliest evidence of Mecca's existence? We're going to come to that. Don't worry. What is the earliest evidence of Mecca's existence that is undisputed by anyone? What year is that in? It's the 8th century, it's about the 7th the end. Probably again, when the Ethiopians tried to invade, but they were destroyed by Allah's uh, wrath. No, that is not undisputed at all. It is, it is undisputed. It is, it is disputed by, it is it is disputed by historians. He was a real person, he tried to create an army to go destroy the Kaaba, he was defeated, and we don't know what happened to him after that. That is history right there, man. History, right. because he was destroyed by Allah when he tried to destroy Sorry, the sorry, the, the report, right, the report that the Ethiopians tried to conquer Mecca, what, what year does that come from? Uh, probably from... It's it, 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 it one of the writings of the Aksum Empire. They have it there somewhere. No, sure. no, you're making stuff up. No, you're making stuff up. And the Roman it's an Islamic, Islamic story. story. It's an Islamic story. What they say you don't know? No, I don't try to say you know, but I don't know if you exactly don't know, but you don't, don't, you don't, don't know a lot. Right. You're, you're saying you believe all these things, but you don't know why. I don't commit them to memory because I'm convinced by them based on the evidence that I see. You probably know. I'm not with everything. This isn't my specialty. I understand that, but don't speak about what you don't know. You're getting onto the topics. I'm not going to say, no, I don't know. No, I, no, I you do can't know. say that. No, no, but I you do make know. No, I know, no, I know I'm a very reductionist understanding. You've I don't know everything. You're making claims that I don't know what no, no, it is. You haven't given me a whole bunch of evidence either to be completely frank. You're making claims that there are problems. And I've explained to you that there isn't. The vegetation. There's no way anyone, any scholar could actually come up with any datum about that. No one's actually studied it. Actually are accepting that Mecca could be the Neo-traditional scholars haven't been to Mecca or Medina. Not many. All of them. Neither have been. I don't know why he turns. Was it you that he turns? You asked about whether there are rivers. Yeah. What was the reason he did that? Are you from Mecca? Do you have you been to Mecca? Why do you think that you knew? You're Saudi. So here we go. We've got a Saudi citizen. 
who said I don't, I don't know a lot by the way. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. We're not we're not we're not saying that Nor you are a scholar <laughs> of Nor has he studied the terrain of any but, but you're unaware of rivers or river bent in Mecca. But that doesn't matter, that's not that's not, that's not, that's not, that's yeah. not quite sure. Why would he know that Well I mean the thing is, have you been to Mecca? No, I've been to the Arabian Peninsula. Right, but you haven't been to Mecca. No, not, not exactly. Neither, right? neither have and, you. And you, haven't, and you haven't provided any scholarship that shows riverbeds or rivers in Mecca either. That show riverbeds and rivers I, in Mecca. I can tell you that Tabari, Tabari of, affirms that there is a well there called Zamzam. A well is not, not a river. Well. We're talking about you rivers. It's sustain thousands and thousands of people with a well. But it has, it has, it has though. It has. But it has though. But that's just Islamic No, but it isn't because it has. I can go there now. I can go there now. Right. I can so, shall I show you? Shall I, I want to show you now that you have this habit of literally making things up on the spot. Remember where he said Paul wrote that there were thousands that saw Christ post the resurrection. This is proof that this man makes things up on the spot. Because the passage actually reads like this. Are you listening? Yeah, he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 brethren at once. Fine. And what is that? That is so the you know, population. So not thousands then. Not thousands then. Not thousands then. Is it? No, you gave a specific You said there was 2,000 that would be living there. 500 is a third. You would be lucky. Sorry, a quarter of the population. 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 Yeah, I was wrong, but I'm still right. Yeah, I was, wrong, I, I, was right. I am wrong, but I'm still, still right. right. I'm still 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 right. I
The first and ambiguous reference to Mecca in external literature occurs in 741 Anno Domini in the Byzantine Arab Chronicle. So the first reference that we have of Mecca's existence is in the 8th century. 8th century. Oh, it's a, it's a conspiracy from the 8th century. It's a conspiracy from the 8th century. A revisionist school that has been laughed out of every academic yes. so the, the Ar So the Byzantine Empire <laughs> Empire that records Mecca in the 8th century, and that's our earliest reference to Mecca, were part of a conspiracy. It's a revisionist defense. That's his defense. That has been laughed out of every academic circle. But it hasn't. Dan Gibson, it hasn't. Patricia Crone, it hasn't. Thomas Cook, it hasn't. cannot stand up to it any hasn't. real academic structure. That's, it hasn't. You're making stuff up on I'm the not. spot I've been again. Out of every you are making stuff up on the spot Patricia again. Crone even Prove it. Patricia Prove Cook, it. Patricia Crone and Thomas Cook both rescinded their books about Ishmael and, ha and Haganism. I'm Prove it. I'm getting Wikipedia off. It's on Wikipedia. Look. Prove it. Wait, wait, wait. You so know why she did that, right? But we've provided she, she proof. She got threatened with some of the things you were saying. Oh, come on. No, no, no. There are people who know her and have spoken to her in person, and she's confirmed, yeah, like, I, 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 I'm not touching this. Because how ridiculous it is. It's, it's, it, wait, it's a staple of modern scholarship, Patricia Crone. Her work on Haganism is accepted by, accepted by uh, near traditionalists. She received it by herself. Prove it! Because she got threats. Oh, come on, man. What's, what's going on? Has he got <laughs> proof that he rescinded it? Uh, yeah, I do. I do, because she's, she's, uh, she's no longer promulgated. Yeah, listen, 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 listen. She wrote okay, this so book. He's he's one stuck. So this is by Dr. Rafat Amari. Are you listening? Are you listening? Dr. Rafat Amari has written a paper that shows that studies by classical writers show that Mecca could not have been built before the 4th century AD. Dr. Rafat Amari. Studies by classical writers show that Mecca could not have been built by... Uh, uh, before the 4th century, that's Dr. Rafat Amari. What's the main element of this? Okay. Oh, oh, we don't know. Oh, we don't know. Yeah? She didn't say it, but why? We have no Okay, because, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Listen. Okay, listen. Right, accurate data from Greek geography also excludes the appearance of Mecca before the 4th century. There's no mention of Mecca in the writings of any classical writer or geographer. This fact is an important argument against Islam's claim that Mecca has existed since the time of Abraham. We have completed records of Greek and Roman writers, as well as many geographers who visited Arabia from the 4th century BC through the 3rd century BC. Some of these people drew maps of Arabia, telling us about every city, village, tribe and temple existing there, yet none mentioned Mecca. So now we've, now we've shown... Right, now we've shown that there's scholarship behind this. How do you reply to that scholarship? Wait, I'll be honest with you, it doesn't matter because whatever, doesn't matter. I'll tell you why. These scholars who say those things, right? Wherever the matter if they did know about these things, like you said, you wrote on you wrote on papyrus. But you wrote on papyrus. Yes? And that would have been destroyed all early in the BCs. Early in the BCs. It'd be destroyed. Just like how you made wait, just like how you made the argument about your new testament why you don't have as many fragments. Because you made the claim that it was papyrus. And we, we but that's could, a hundred years, right? That you're talking about the of thousands of years. Huh? You're, you're saying that over thousands of years, not a single person wrote about Mecca. No, I'm saying that they did. What we had, except the evidence, our evidence says the opposite. Is that our right? parchments <laughs> mention it because the our evidence says the opposite. opposite. What, what parchments? Are you sorry, what parchments of the Quran and all these? Uh, all no, no, no. That is a lie again. You've literally just lied. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because the Islamic literature all dates from the seventh century onwards. We have there were no Islamic literature before Muhammad. Also, there was Islamic literature before Muhammad. Of course there was. Oh, 
Oh, this is interesting. Of Please. There was pre Islamic literature. No, no you just, we're talking about Islamic literature. Oh, no, and so now we're talking about. No, 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 no. The pre Islamic literature, he has poems that were memorized yes. by thousands of companions before the advent of Islam. Right. So yes. we know that, and we even know their lineages. You know what I mean? So, yes, there is pre Islamic poetry. How else would they know that the Quran is pre Islamic poetry? Pre Islamic. Yes, of course. Right, so that doesn't contradict this then. Because this says that Mecca could not have existed before the fourth century but that still contradicts Islamic fiction because Islamic fiction says that it existed in the Bronze Age the lineages that we have go further back in the fourth century evidence we have, we have so from evidence Benny, Hashim, no. Romeo, all the yeah, all, you've just, all, all you've just done is give out some names. Give Sorry. me a quote. Are you one of these people? Look, I've just found you some quotes. Let me quote you again. Listen, 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 listen. listen. Are you listening? Are you listening? Because he, he's not listening. So, listen. So much so that they didn't put much stock in reports provided by merchants. We can see this in the writings of Strabo. Strabo was a first century geographist. A first century geographist. From Greece. And he was a historian who lived between 64 BC and 23 AD. He emphasized how important it is not to depend upon reports from merchants, but to depend upon the official findings provided by geographers and historians. So he was an academic of his own age. He rejected people listen, listen, listen. No, no, he didn't. He said, No, he didn't. You're not listening. You're not listening. He didn't reject reports about Mecca's existence. He had got no, he did. he's not listening again. You're not listening, and you know why you're not listening? It's because your argument is busted, and all you've got is rhetoric, and all you've got is pride, and all you've got is hubris against facts. But the thing is, when people watch facts versus hubris and pride, they will go with facts. Listen, listen, listen. listen. Okay, so he's, he's scared to listen. So Strabo establishes a principle, saying you don't trust what merchants say. He never mentions Mecca. Do you know why he never mentions Mecca? Because Mecca wasn't there to mention. He just established a principle. He said that you would go off geographers and historians. Listen to what he said. He emphasized how important it is to not depend on the reports from merchants, but to depend upon the official findings provided by geographers and historians. This makes the research of the geography of Arabia provided by ancient Greek geographers and historians a valuable resource. Especially when they tell us which cities existed in Western Arabia since the end of the 5th century BC through to the 4th century BC. We then see the facts gathered by Greek geographers and historians are extremely important in establishing dates that these cities first appeared. In short, Mecca is not mentioned anywhere anyway. by anyone. Anyway, so this is becoming quite circular now. I would like to now go to the topic of the mask of the He wants to change topics. No, let's stick to this topic. You're not, you're not accepting my arguments. I'm not accepting your arguments. No, I haven't. You haven't. All, all you've done is, all you've done is come out with you statements. statements. Statements of mine. The innocence. I want to know. Is that historical? Did it ever take place? Because for some reason, these guys now are historians when it's not against them. I want to see if they're historians when it goes against them about the master of the innocence. So he was Did talking to the place? camera. And told Did it take place? He's just changed his topic. Yeah. 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 So, so, let's stick, so let me talk to you about no, we the, let, me, let, me, let me talk about. We're talking about this either. We're talking about, yeah, we're talking about Mecca. We're talking yeah, about Mecca. Yeah, the existence of Mecca. I'm not here now. I'm here. So you've got one argument which says that the topography described in the Quran doesn't match Mecca today. Find the verses. That hasn't been studied by any time. Find the verses. That wasn't studied. Secondly, we have the absence of any historian's comments or geographer's comments that could identify Mecca. Mecca as existing before the 4th century and thirdly the only undisputed reference to Mecca outside of Islamic literature which is all 7th century anyway 
The only undisputed one is by the Byzantine Romans and that dates from the 8th century. So in other words, we have zero reasons to believe the Islamic fiction that Mecca existed at the time of Abraham or of Adam. Right, so let's look at the Christian fiction. So we have a... No, we're not changing topics. We have a topic. changing topics. Let's talk about Christian fiction. No, changing topics. Was there a massacre of the innocents that took place? Changing topics. Was there a massacre of the innocents? What about this? I can't defend Mecca, so I'm going to change the topic. The only one that you know why? It's because he's outgunned. He's, he's, he's outgunned. I'm going to give you some some scholars for you as well for your mask of the innocent. Mask of the innocent. I've already I've already argued all your points. The mask of the innocent. The only person you can bring up to talk about this is your earliest historian Josephus, someone who was hated by. Who was hated by the uh, the the, Jew, the the by Herod? So Herod, he hated Herod. So did Josephus talk about the massacre of the innocents? No, he did not. He leaves it blank, like it never happened. Yeah. Someone yeah. who literally wrote a book, a book called The Atrocities of Herod, does not mention the massacre of the innocents. Why? Because it's part of Christian fiction. Let's it not never change took the subject. Place. We're going to stick to listen, the topic. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're going to talk I'm about, about, talk about, about you're just yeah. I'm going to walk away. You're fine to walk away. If you can't defend Mecca's existence, I've, 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 I've just like, look, just like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just have the humility to argument. say, I don't you know. I refuted you evidence. No, you haven't. You All we've done is make statements. Do you want we've given you historians, Listen. academic studies, Do you evidence from your own Quran. What have you got? You do nothing about And what's your point? Anyway, so. What's your point? I don't have anyone else working for me, Bob. You've got so anyway, nobody. What I nobody's do, on your we side. Can move on to the mask of the Okay, so you're wrong about Mecca. Are you wrong about Mecca? No, I'm not. I'm not. Based on what case, evidence? Say you don't know because you certainly haven't proved it here. Are you guys don't have proof? We showed you. There are no references to Mecca. You weren't even here for this conversation. He was. He was here. He was holding this. He was holding this. Listen, listen. Western people. Western audience. We have never been to the Western people. We have never studied the topography. Archaeus of Alexander the Great is not a Western historian. He was an historian. Dorian. Alexander the Great was a Macedonian. He was great. Exactly, he was so he was before Islam. He was before Islam and any of these arguments. Yes, he did. Yes, listen. He went as far as Tylus, the island of Tylus. Where's Tylus? Where's the island of Tylus? Bahrain. Bahrain is up north. Listen, listen. Listen. go far enough south. Listen. 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 to the west of Saudi. You've not been to the What did you say? What did you say? Bahrain is to the west. Of the other side, you silly. We talk Bahrain is to the west of Arabia. I've been in Bahrain okay. is in the east, you idiot. What are you talking yeah, about? I was born in Kuwait. <laughs> He was born in Kuwait. He's got a ways to go, mate. He's got a ways to go. Listen, 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 listen. Oh my God, Listen, all the Saudis, all the Saudis, they just got a screw in Bahrain. I haven't even finished reading. I have not even finished reading. I have not even finished reading. I haven't even finished reading. Listen, so Alexander the Great sent three naval expeditions from Babylon. The first was under Archaeus, who went as far as the island of Tylus in Bahrain. The second, are you listening? You see, he's clutching at straws. He's so desperate. He doesn't want to read. Listen. Okay. Alexander then sent another naval expedition under Astrothenes, who sailed to part of the peninsula of Arabia. Which part? We don't know. It's not mentioned. The third naval expedition was sent under Huron of Soli, Aaron wrote, Huron had received instructions to sail around the whole of the Arabian Peninsula. Oh, they're not laughing now. They're not laughing now. Huron had received instructions to sail round the whole of the Arabian Peninsula as far as the Arabian Gulf near Egypt over against Hierapolis. Listen, 
Although we had sailed around the greater part of Arabia, Hiron did not dare go further, but turned back to Babylon. Hiron sailing around the greater part of Arabia means he sailed around Western Arabia. No, he doesn't mention Mecca's existence. He didn't land in no one does. Sailed around. No Nobody mentions it. Tell me one historian, one, one historian who mentions Mecca. One, one, one. Have you got one? So what we're doing for you, let me spell it out for you. Let me spell it out for you. Let me spell it out for you because you're desperate. Let me spell it out for you. We are listing the historians of antiquity and we are finding that all of the historians of antiquity do not mention Mecca. Why do they not mention Mecca? Because Mecca was not there to mention. Warren is next to Al Khedar, which is Saudi Arabia. He said that Warren is not. So he doesn't know his geography. Wait, wait. Warren is to the. Warren is to. You don't know your geography, man. Look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was Bahrain. Look, look, look. We're Bahrain. talking about East and West. It's all right. Bahrain. So, Bahrain is so we, we're East showing of you. Saudi Arabia. Yes, yes right. So what's your so topography what? verse? Not your verse is in the Quran. Not to the, the north. The, 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 not to the north. Bahrain is not to the north. Guys, guys, guys. We can tell you're desperate. Oh, yeah, we're all you've got is noise and bluster. You know how you win this argument? Let me tell you how you win this argument. You give us a non-Islamic source from the 1st to the 4th century that mentions Mecca and then you win. So give us one. Oh, we don't need to. We don't need to. Of course we do, because that's what we're disputing. I have said it didn't exist, we're saying it did. And you have to burn the proof. You, you're just showing us an yes. awesome. Yes. I said it from yes. West. But how do, you prove a, how do you prove a negative? How do you prove a negative? Shall I tell you how? No. How do you prove a negative? Yeah, you don't know. Shall I tell you? It's the same way you prove the existence of a unicorn. How would you prove the non-existence of a unicorn? This is not a unicorn. How would you prove the non-existence of a unicorn? This is a logical argument. You shouldn't be children. Don't be mature. Do not be immature. Don't act like a child. This is a logical argument. How do you prove the non-existence of a unicorn? Oh, you mean like Jesus died on the cross? How do you prove Jesus the non-existence? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. How do you prove that? Right. How do you prove it? You prove it by the consistent absence of any evidence. So, if there is consistent absence of evidence of Mecca's existence from the 1st to the 4th century... So you're saying Mecca was never a hub until when? When did Mecca become a 8th century. I, I am saying that the earliest... I am saying... No, a conspiracy from before Islam. This is how childish and immature Islam has made this man. You're saying before Islam was there, it was not a trade route, it was not a... Yes, but according to to your fiction, we should have evidence of its existence outside of Islamic sources because of what your Islamic sources say. And he agrees. I can appreciate that. No, I can oh, sorry, he appreciates. I appreciate. I don't right. agree. So, so, just because we don't have evidence from our side doesn't mean that it didn't exist at all, does it? But what you're claiming, though, is this is a massive city where hundreds of thousands of people came every year. Yeah, and it's a no, no, look that city. It it where it has, no, no, we have no evidence of it. It happened, happened in Petra. What, 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 what are they drinking? Where's your evidence? Water. Where's your evidence? Zamzam. 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 That's not a river. Can we pull up the verses? Can we pull up the verses? Listen, listen to what your Quran says. Listen, listen to what your Quran says. Yeah, verse 29, it clearly mentions olive trees. There are olive trees in this area. We know for a fact that's not true. There are not olive trees in any of the Arabian Peninsula. They come from the Mediterranean. What, in Mecca? Olive trees? There are vegetation. Why are there growing olive trees today? In vegetation. Are they growing olive trees? Are they growing olive trees in Arabia? I can't speak what was there 400 years ago. 
We know that they you're from the Arabian Peninsula. Are they building all these teams in Mecca? Probably. They're doing everything there now. No way. But he doesn't know the geography. He doesn't know the area. He doesn't know anything. Well, the Palestinians, one of their claims against Israel is that they have olive trees that their grandfathers had, that their great grandfathers had, that their great great grandfathers had, and they trace it right, some of them, they trace their olive farms right back to the time of Jesus, and that's why they argue this is their land. So what? Right? Listen, olive oil has always been a commodity since the classical period. If the Arabian Peninsula traded in olive oil, it would have continued to trade in olive oil. Well, where's your evidence? Where's your evidence? Wait, wait, we know from the... Uh, we know from the... Where's your evidence? What, you mean the people who are experts on the Mexican trade? You understand that? They are considered the experts in academia about the trade that went through the Arabian Peninsula. She's an expert. She is. She's an expert. More than you. You're lying. The current scholar. What's the verse again? What's the verse again? 8029. Find your next one. There are many of these, by the way. That's fine. They don't want to talk about the Bible. They all want to talk about the Bible. We never started. I'm literally going to talk about the Bible after we're done in this debate. When I've done that talk. When I've done with that talk, we can talk about the Bible. I'm inviting you to talk about the Bible after we finish with this talk. Okay, so 80 what? 29. 80, 29. And you're going to find another one. Yeah. There was a book written by... Hang on, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. You think there is no... What about it? This is accepted by scholars, by the way. It's not the scholars It's not the scholars Only the effect that I was going to be a man. We don't, we don't, we don't. Find me one scholar. Find me one scholar. Listen, 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 this is what your Quran says about Mecca, the kinds of things that we found in Mecca at the time of the 7th century. You never found anything. The we is the authors of the Quran. That's it. Listen, what they say. And produce therein corn, grapes, nutritious plants, olives, dates, enclosed gardens, dense with lofty trees. Does that sound like Mecca? Does that sound like Mecca? Does that sound like Mecca? Right now, right now. You're saying there's no possibility of there being a river in Mecca, is that what you're saying? You need to prove that there was, because all evidence okay. says there wasn't. How far is that from the coast? How far is that from the coast? You, you said it was about 100 miles. Yeah, that's about 100. Yeah. yeah look at all that water deposits all the way across. All the way across. All the way. So not rivers. All the way across. So not rivers. So not rivers. So not rivers. Yeah, so there are desalination plants. Not rivers. There are desalination plants in the 7th century. That not happen with, with the rivers? Come on, man. Lake Chad no longer exists, and it was massive in the last 50 years. What? I, you you have the not rivers? even yet established any evidence of Mecca's existence from before the time of Islam. It's one of the best no. in so no, no evidence. Oh wait, he said. Right. This is why I'm going to show how one Muslim contradicts another Muslim. Okay. Here, remember when I pointed out that the Romans invaded the Arabian Peninsula in the first century and this brother say that the hundred miles between the coast and Mecca was such a hostile environment that entire armies would be wiped out but now but now this Muslim is saying that it is such a great trade room that of course Mecca had to exist you said from the east I said from the west no you weren't listening you no, know, you weren't no, listening. You weren't listening. You weren't only if you stamp on my foot. Only if you stamp on my foot. He doesn't turn the other cheek. He doesn't yeah. turn, the turn the other cheek has got nothing to do with being a passive. He doesn't turn the other cheek. So, you're, you're, you're jumping around. No, you're talking about. That was an entirely different thing. The difference between you and me is I know what argument I'm making, and you're too busy talking to one another to listen. Yes. 
just you haven't not. listened to my argument because just like now you're talking to one another and that's why you're getting my argument confused but we have a camera record so you can go back and watch the camera record you're confusing different parts so, so, we've got this of Mecca, of Mecca from the 7th century, bearing in mind that it is an environment, according to him, that is so hostile, entire arguments would be wiped out, would be wiped out, but yet it is so lush in irrigation and so lush in water that we find corn and grapes and nutritious plants and olive dates and enclosed gardens and dense and lofty trees and fruits and fodder for use and convenience to you and your cattle. That's a lot of water. Are you now going to argue there was no cattle in that house? No, I'm not saying that. Okay, good. So are you saying that he came from here? Are you saying he went from here and went along? Correct you. That would be even worse. Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? Right. So the Roman invasion that I referenced came from here. They invaded across and they came down and they got down to here. And they took every stronghold and city along that place. Where did they get the water from? Happened. Where did they get the water from? Yeah, never. How did they? How did they sustain? Yeah, how will they sustain an army coming from there to there? How did they do it? Sea the water? I thought there was no water. I thought there was no water. Oh, oh you said. So now you're arguing there was no water. Do you see they're contradicting themselves? So to argue that the Romans could not have reached Mecca, they say there was no water. But then to argue that the Quran is right, they're saying there was water. So was there water or no water? You're saying there isn't. It's called supply lines, armies invade with logistics. And he laughs at that idea. He's laughing at a simple martial principle. They wouldn't even make it through petrol. They wouldn't even make it through petrol. They wouldn't even make it through history. They wouldn't even make it through petrol. Right, I'm going to pull up. I'm going to pull up the invasion. Have you watched Lawrence of Arabia? You know that half that army died just trying to... Okay, listen, listen. The key point here is that there's no evidence that Mecca was an actual city that had hundreds of thousands of people. Right, I keep going back to it. Give me you saying, he's saying, well, well, just give evidence against it. But he's saying that an army came from here, here all the way down would you, to here. Would you agree? I would never do that. Would I couldn't you make agree? it halfway. I'd be dead. Would you agree? Would you agree, would you agree that, that the description in the Quran yeah. describes a well-cultivated agricultural Yeah, and I showed you there's water around this area. Right. So, so we've got this description of a well-cultivated agricultural society. It's green there now. Do you? Is it green there now? So, and how many, how many people, millions of years how many pagans used to come to Mecca to do their pilgrimages? It doesn't, it doesn't say exactly. It doesn't say. It doesn't Why is that not important? It would have been massive. It said, didn't it not say that people from all over the world wait, wait, wait. came to the Kaaba? Does it say? What's your own tradition? Wait, no, 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 no. What do you mean, own tradition? You have given no. Oh, he's did given anyone sources. He's given none in this entire debate. Give me a source. You haven't given a single source for anything in this entire debate. No, you haven't. Yeah. The only one you gave was Ptolemy. You said that was wrong, and then that was it. You understand? Ptolemy as well. Come on. Not Ptolemy is after the seventh century. You asked me for something. I gave it. Yeah, I'm talking yes, about before. But we're talking about tradition. before. He has a tradition. Ptolemy doesn't count. He goes. He goes all the way back. He has a tradition of being used by Muslims. He makes a claim based on what evidence? Huh? Based on what evidence? Uh, so he wrote uh, for the Abbasid Caliph. Caliph. Uh, he was so Abbasid Caliph was after Muhammad. Yeah. yeah, but we have lines of narration. We have lines of narration going all the way back, even before pre-Islamic Arabia. Anyone can make up a list, bro. This is, this is what a Christian says, because they have no lines anyway. No, we don't. We have our own. Give me one. What? Give me one line of narration. Okay, I can, I can the demonstrate the, 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 the teachings the of John the from Polycarpus, Ignatius, and Irenaeus. I just did. I can demonstrate the sayings of John from Irenaeus, from Polycarp, and from Ignatius. Done. He's trying to change the topic. No, no, no. Trying to change the topic. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Who did John teach? Who did John teach? Who did John teach? Polycarp. Sorry? Polycarp. And then Polycarp to where? Irenaeus. 
No, 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 no. Irenaeus comes in about 200 to 300 or something, mate. Was, was Irenaeus teaching in France? Yes or no? Was Polycarp a disciple of John? According to your church tradition, yes. According to history? Yes. According to your According church to tradition, writing, that's made up we yes. have today. According, According to Christian are. fiction, yes. Ugh. Yes, yeah. thank you. This is terrible. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just giving, I'm just reciprocating. It is, it is. We had a good conversation. No one was insulting anyone until he came. Wait, he has insulted anyone. He has. He has. He kept saying Islamic fiction. Islamic fiction. Islamic fiction. He only did it. He only did it when he came in. Why? 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 Oh, that is a clown. Oh, that is a clown. Oh, that is a clown. Oh, Jesus, the clown. Oh, Jesus, the clown. Wait, wait. Jesus, the clown. Jesus, the clown. Jesus, the clown. I don't believe in Jesus. I thought that Islam affirmed. No, no, I don't believe in Jesus. I thought Islam affirmed. I don't believe in Jesus. Jesus is a false man god. I don't believe in Jesus. So you're not a Muslim? I believe in Isa ibn Mari. He never exists. Exactly, look. He doesn't believe in Mari Isa anyway, so I don't believe in you, Jesus. You see what I'm saying? Jesus is By the way, Jesus is actually a false man god. What did they call it? Senor, your Quran affirms the Injil, yes? And the one to rule the Injil was revealed. We don't have the Injil. Yeah, you lost it, right? You lost it. You lost it. You lost it. Your Quran claims to affirm the Injil. The Injil, you don't have the Injil. Are you listening? No. You didn't lose anything. You claim to believe the Injil, you lost it. And is preserved. You've got no evidence of the Injil. We have the preservation. And to be a Muslim, you have to affirm the Injil. We don't need any evidence. Their entire argument is based on the Muslim. Do you want evidence? Right. I can give you. I, I want to go you. back so to. I can give you evidence. I, I just want to establish the evidence. Roman invasion of Arabia oh, to show that Why you're wrong. You that? Right. <laughs> so this is recorded. <laughs> Are you listening? <laughs> I don't like this. Are you listening? Is this yours? Are you listening? So the Roman invasion of Arabia. Are you listening? Who's this? The Roman invasion of Arabia. Oh, that's yeah, you notice that you don't want to listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be next Make your point, make your point. Make your point. It is cheap tricks. That's all they've got. Hubris, pride, and cheap tricks. Alright, no evidence. Here comes Bob's sophistry. Here comes Bob's sophistry. And well, here comes Bob's facts, ladies and gentlemen. Facts versus ego and pride. Let's go, Bob. Come on. The Arabian expedition launched by the Romans in the first century, in the first quarter of the first century, in the lifetime of Jesus Christ, was recorded by Cassius Dio and Pliny the Elder, and also Strabo. They undertook an expedition from Egypt, just like I said, by the command of Caesar Augustus, partly with a view, listen, to explore the country. They didn't get far though. They to didn't get far. the country get far. and its inhabitants. It was an utter failure. This and partly to failure. conclude treaties of friendship with the people or to subdue them if they should oppose Roman rule. For it was believed at the time that Arabia was full of all kinds of treasures. When Aurelius Gallus, they got the oil. You they got the oil, baby. <laughs> Aurelius Gallus set out with his army. He trusted to the guidance of a Nabataean called Silius, who deceived and misled him. A long account of this expedition through the desert is given by Strabo who derived most of his information about Arabia from his friend Alias Gallius, the leader of the expedition. The burning heat of the sun, the bad water, the want of everything necessary to support life. Did you get that? Everything necessary to support life. For the Quran says cornfields, luscious trees, uh, he hasn't gates, he hasn't farms. He hasn't disproved it. He hasn't disproved it. No, it isn't. Because if this is saying that the things to support life are not there, then the description of the Quran is wrong. Where was that? Continue. He won't give it to you. He won't give it to you. Continue. Where? 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 Continue. Look, you can see. The bad water, the want of everything necessary to support life, produced a disease amongst the soldiers 
that was altogether unknown to the Romans and destroyed the greater part of the army, which was your point. Destroyed the greater part of the army so that the Arabs were not only not subdued but succeeded in driving the Romans even from those parts of the country which they had possessed before. Alias Gallius spent six months on his march into the country on account of his treacherous guide while he, while he effected his retreat in 60 days, 60 obliged days. Not to return to Alexandria having lost the greater part of his force. The campaign is subject of a 1951 model, the Eagle and the Sun. See, when you come to God's land, it doesn't work out for you, man. Yeah, that's right. yeah, right. Come to the big cause trouble of God's, God's land, it doesn't work out. Come to Allah's you leave land, it 60 days or less. 60, 60 days, days or less. One second. <laughs> Didn't even make it halfway, bro. Come, leave you, the country. Where's your proof? Where's, where's your proof? Hold on one second. <laughs> hold on one second. Where's your proof? Hold on one more second. So we've established. We've established that the Romans did invade Arabia. For 60 days. <laughs> no, for that six was, months. That was, that was, yeah. Notice how they're very selective. Notice how they're very selective. For six months. How far across Arabia can you get in six months? They didn't, they, how far? They they how far? I can probably, if I, if I had the all the water I needed, I can do it maybe. Months. Three no, I months. I don't have any water. Three I don't months. I have any supplies. Three months. I've got horses. I've got horses. You can cover Arabia in three months. No, not the whole thing. So how far no, no, can no. you gain six no, months? No, no. How far can you gain six Untrained, months? Untrained, probably not very far, probably die in the fifth day. Literally, well clearly they were not untrained because they were there for six months. Now answer me again, how far can you get in six months? What part of Arabia were they in for six months? What part? They came from Egypt. Okay. They were going to Yemen. They were sailing. Where? They were sailing. Wait, wait, no. 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 no, I said marching. They did not march. It literally said marching. Marching. There you go. Yeah, wait, he they, doesn't want to deal with the evidence. If they, if they, came, if they came from Egypt and they went to Yemen, but he said surely they would go along the west coast, yeah? Alongside the Red Sea. They're coming from the furthest coast corner to get to Mecca. Yeah. So they, yeah. so they, they, going past they weren't going to Mecca, they were going to Yemen. They don't even know where they're going. Egypt is here. Mecca is here. The Red Sea is in between. They wouldn't even get to Jeddah. They wouldn't even be a Jeddah. You wouldn't even get to Jeddah. How do you know? You wouldn't even get to Jeddah. Have you ever made the journey? Bro, a hundred miles in life. Have you ever seen a, an army life. make the journey? An army would be impossible. Logistically, it's impossible. You're making stuff you up again. Do you already know you why made you think, stuff up. Why do you think no one was ever, ever able to already know you up. make stuff up. No one was ever able to conquer them for this exact reason. Do we know that you are making stuff up. Okay, where, where do you think they went? <laughs> where did they go? So here's, so, here's right, Mecca from here. Egypt, yeah. Right, what's the logical route? How would you do what's it? What's the logical route from yeah, Arabia exactly where they want to go? go? What's the logical it? route from here to here? Yes. What's the if, logical if, route? If, if, what's the logical route? Where's Mecca? How far is that? Where's Mecca? How far is that? Where's Mecca? It's a hundred. It's along the way. It's along the way. It's along the way. And they were marching for how many months? How many months? Here we go. And they were marching for how many months? They're staying close to the water. Why would they go there? Right. And I don't even think they made it this far, to be honest. To explore the country. How do you know? I don't, you don't know either. How do you know? You don't know either. You know either. You know either. So why would they certainly diverge their course and go inland? Why? Yeah, they have no reason. The only reason that they would need to do that is because they found the river. Yeah, and if they were Arabs, maybe. And Arab, if they were Arabs, they would know about it as well. So they would know the route to get there. Bro, this is the Arabian Peninsula. Your European Romans couldn't deal they with couldn't it. They couldn't handle that. They're used to this European they weather. Look, look, Adam, they're hugging the water. They're hugging the water. <laughs> look, 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 they're hugging the water, man. I want to stay with the water. I'm a coward. I'm a coward. So basically, all you've got is noise. No, 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 that's all you've got. Shall I, shall I tell you what shall evidence, evidence Mark? Shall I tell you what evidence we've stacked up against? Show me where it says Mark. Shall we, shall we tell you? Show me where it says Mark. Sure. Show me where it says Mark. I did read it to you. You should have it. No, hold on. Hold on. One second. Right? The fact that you were so rude, you were not even listening to me when I read, is not my problem. Watch the recording, and you will see I read Mark. 
anyway, are we going to do Mask right, of the Innocents or are we doing it for a long time? Right, I'm going to do a talk then. On some else. <laughs> okay, let's I'm let's not going out, Wilson. Do you want to talk about Mask of the Innocents? Uh, I want to go talk to you. Uh, okay, no worries. Thank you, boys. Okay, good luck, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Take care. Take care. Take care. Even though we don't have a debate. So, we had a, a quick chat. Pre, uh, quick. I'll say it was quick. Yeah, it didn't turn out to be quick. It was a chat about the historicity of Mecca, as well as about the early manuscripts of Islam. We talked about the Salam manuscripts, talked about the Birmingham portfolio. This Muslim knew a bit more than most Muslims, but I think ultimately he had to accept that Ubay ibn Kab and Abdullah, Abdullah ibn Masud had totally different codexes that contradicted what Usman put together. Therefore, I was saying that you cannot say that the Quran is perfectly preserved because of, um, his name. Uthman's Quran does not conform with what the other reciters had before them. In fact, it's different. And because they disagreed, you can't say it's not. Okay, so and, and I just want to say this is why we need more Christians down in the corner with good cameras. Because we have a, a good Christian evangelist here who's working, and, and I'm a Christian evangelist here that's working, but we've only got one camera. Like, guys, like, you know, we're like the Templars at the beginning of the, 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 the birth of the Knights Templar. We're riding two knights to one horse. Like, we need more. So, Christian brothers and sisters, if you've got good cameras and you know how to use them and you know how to work them, come down here and record the Christian evangelists doing the Lord's work. Right? Stop being spectators. Get involved. And I, I, I say again, and I've repeated this many, many times, the Christian church needs to take evangelism that's happening here at the corner seriously. Because there's real good evangelism happening here at the corner. And it's about time that the church recognizes that. You know, so like, where are your teams? Where is your support for the teams working here? Now, to the point that we were talking about Mecca, the Quran gives a description that states this about Mecca and says that Mecca produces therein corn and grapes and nutritious plants and olives and dates has enclosed gardens, dense and lofty trees, fruits and fodder for use and convenience to you and your cattle. And Muslims make the claim that Mecca has existed since the Bronze Age at the latest. Bronze Age, that's the time of David. They say Abraham and Isaac, so it's actually right at the beginning of the Bronze Age, before the Bronze Age possibly. And yet we've got no evidence of Mecca existing. No one writes about it, no one talks about it. The Romans invaded the Arabian Peninsula and never came across it. Geographers are silent about it completely. And scholarship believes that Mecca could only have existed at the earliest from the 4th century onwards. From the 4th century onwards means that Muslims claims about Mecca are fiction. And when we ask Muslims for proof, what do they give us? 7th century and later texts talking about Mecca's existence. Nothing before. And the reason why they're not giving us anything before is because there isn't anything before. And the reason why there isn't anything before is because there was no Mecca to talk about. So that means that the Quran is giving a false description of a city that doesn't exist.